welcome back to Outback Pollux. Uh, we're in free week of isolation, uh, going a little bit mad. And I thought to myself, what's the perfect thing to, to do during isolation? And um, I'm gonna make my favorite ca salted caramel vodka. To make salted caramel vodka, a lot of people tend to buy fudge and melt it down in a pan and strain it and put salt with it and then strain it again through coffee paper and all that sort of stuff. That's too hard. The stuff that I make has been proven to work. Yes, Mark? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, excellent. So um, before we get to it, subscribe, like, and share. It's the best thing to do during uh, this wonderful isolation, help a guy out. Now, to get this done, you need some good quality vodka. Um, I use Marlboro, which is the made in New Zealand stuff. It's actually pretty good. I was surprised it was on sale when, when I first made this and I thought I'll give it a crack. It was actually really, really good. Very smooth, very tasty. Um, you can use any vodka with it, but I do suggest um, some smooth vodka, nothing, nothing too rough. Um, so you need this. I use the Himalayan, Himalayan Saxa Natural Pink Himalayan Rock Salt. And the reason why I use rock salt is because the, the harshness of it will really mix into the drink and as you wait for it to, I guess, melt inside your salted caramel vodka, after a week, two weeks, three weeks, it will get a little bit more saltier and it will give it a very distinct flavor. Instead of melting my own fudge, I just simply go out and buy the top and fill caramel stuff from Nestle, really cheap, five bucks a can. Um, limit of two at the moment per, I mean, limit of one per store, so I had to buy it in one store and go back to the other. Thank you, COVID-19. You'll need a little bit of a, um, a decanter or a glass bottle to hold it in. I use the old Saplitsa Staropolska vodka bottle, which is my favorite, can't wait to go back to Poland. Um, a, a jug just to hold it in, stir it, and, um, and keep tasting it. It's very important to keep tasting it. Uh, I use a Nutribullet. You can use a blender, but the problem with a blender is that rock salt, you'll probably need to have it in the fridge maybe a week or two longer. With the blender, the pulverizing blades, it will absolutely destroy that rock salt and will release that instant flavor. So you'll have that instant caramel vodka, um, salted caramel vodka straight away, instead of just um, the saltiness um, later on. So, and that's really hard to tell because obviously the more salt you put in, you're thinking to yourself it's gonna get saltier, but with the rock salt, again, it melts much slower. So you, you gotta be careful how much you put in there. You could like it really, really salty. So. Let's get started. How's my moustache and beard? Week three, I've decided not to shave anymore. It's getting, getting itchy. So, uh, now remember, it's important to taste. So we're gonna taste only a little bit to start with. Mark. Na zdrowie. Na zdrowie. That's good, eh? That's actually pretty good. That's, That's better than I thought. Mm. All right, so we have our Neutral bullet. As I said, I don't really have a recipe. It's all about the taste, and the neutral bullet will give that. So, a spoonful to start with. Pour it in. And don't waste any vodka. Oh, that's the shizzle and the nizzle. All right. Now let me, I promise let me to leave her a little bit of caramel, so I won't put all of it in. But, and again, the sweetness is all about how, how sweet you like it as well. So I've got the two cans here, because once I blast this, we'll see how sweet it actually is. Last time I used a liter bottle, so I probably won't need that much. Give it a bit of a shake. Loosen everything up. And this is the fun part. So you can still, I don't know if you can hear it really well, but you can still hear the, um, the rock salt swishing around in there. So you wanna give it another crack. Now I can still hear the rock salt but it is getting smaller, so I'm just gonna let it settle and then blast it again. All right. Now let's try it. Mm. 
There you go. Try that out, sailor. Na zdrowie. What does it need? It needs to be sweeter. It needs to be sweeter. Right, yep. Pour some out. So you kind of have a little bit more room in the Nutribullet. Let's get another one. I won't put the whole can in. Maybe I will. I mean, I mean, coronavirus doesn't kill me. Liver disease and diabetes will. All right, so I've got a half a can in there. Let's give it a crack. Well, that's blasting in the Nutribullet. I'm gonna wash out these shot glasses. Start again. Na zdrowie. Cheers. Oh yeah. That's perfect now. So remember, I've got this much left uh, to put in here, which will take away the sweetness of it. So this is gonna be the last blast. And then what I'll do is I'll pour half of this really sweet stuff into here and give it a rest for about a week to two weeks. Um, actually, Easter's next week, so one week will be enough. And then the rest of it I'll blast as well and I'll put in another decanter. Right. This stuff's not the best stuff for, for pouring. Anyway, alright, blast. Try. That's it up here. Ah, it's perfect. Mm. That's what we want. Yeah, it's a little bit too sweet, which basically means the rest of this will mix with that and we'll even it out. Um, so what I'll do is I'll literally, and you can see the difference in color. So it's, um, yeah, I don't know if you can, but it's obviously more yellow in this side. So as I said, I have myself a spoon and just give it a whisk. whisk. You don't need to put it back in the neutral bullet. And remember that salt, there's still some rockiness in that salt. So it will become more salty over a week or two. Um, but the Nutribullet did a really good job, job on it. Right. That's it. That's as simple as that. Unless I spill it everywhere and um, that'll ruin everything. And you get it really thick, so it's more of a liqueur. Um, you can have it on ice with a little bit of milk as well um, before bedtime or morning time, depending if you're working from home like I am. My manager shouldn't be listening to this. Right. Perfect with a cup of coffee in your morning. That's it. Get yourself a bottle of salt caramel vodka. You can give this as a present to someone. I wouldn't. Um, and then the rest of this, just pour it in. We'll just need another decanter or a bottle. I got these from Poland. So I don't know how long we've been recording for, Mark. 13 minutes and 10 seconds. 13 minutes and 10 seconds. So I would say 10 minutes worth of work without talking. And you've got yourself a beautiful um, salted caramel vodka ready for uh, coronavirus isolation, so social distancing whatever you want it to do. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Enjoy, let me know your recipes. Um, next time we'll make a raspberry vodka that I make as well, which is really, really good. Um, so stay with us. Hopefully you're keeping nice and safe um, and we'll see you soon.